Hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over some basics of the Eclipse IDE. Uh, this is what you're going to be using to uh, write your programs and run your programs. So I've set up uh, sort of the welcome screen almost as it'll look for you. Uh, there'll be a little welcome tab here uh, that you want to close. So click on the X to close it. And you also notice there's a bunch of stuff around, uh, possibly an outline, possibly a task manager. Um, just close the stuff on the right by clicking close. And you'll have more space to work, which is this area in here. Uh, now, on the, if you don't have this package explorer on the left, uh, which will show all of your projects and all of your files, uh, you want to go to Window show view, and then package explorer or project explorer. So if I click on that, uh, you'll be able to see I have my project explorer here. I'm going to close this right here. Okay, so I have my project explorer. You see I have a billion projects on the left. Uh, you may have zero, you may have one after trying. Uh, it, it doesn't really make a difference. If you want to make a new project, you go to file, new, and Java project. Uh, now, the point of project is just to organize your work. Typically, you'll want to make a new project uh, for each project we have in class. You'll probably want a Java project for examples and exercises, uh, and maybe one for labs, or for each lab, potentially. Uh, it's up to you, but the more you have, uh, and the better you name them, it may be easier to keep track of what you've done and where it goes. Okay, so I'll click on Java Project, and I'll name this project, uh, what should I name it? Well, let's name it Example, just as an example. But you can name it Examples, you can name it Classwork, you can name it um, anything reasonable. Uh, but remember, this is for you to organize your work. If you want to name it something very odd, that's fine, but again, it may be trouble, troubling to find you know, what, uh, what you're looking for later on when you have a lot of these. Um, so all I'm going to do is make sure that Java SE 1.8 or Java SE 1.7 is selected. As long as one of those is selected, uh, we're all good. Typically, you won't have to change anything there, um, but just check to make sure. Uh, and then we'll click Finish. So you'll see over on the left, I now have Example as a project. I can double click it to see that I have a folder in there that's automatically created called SRC. This is where your source files go. Notice SRC is just source without all the vowels. So if I click on that, there's nothing in there yet. This other one called System Library, you don't have to worry about it. It will always be there. Uh, but for now, we're considering source. Now, if I want to make a new Java file, typically these are files with a .java extension, the part after the name of the file. I'm always going to go up to File, New, Class. We're always going to be making classes uh, that's just sort of the technical term for a Java file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on class. And you'll notice there's a ton of information here. Um, to start out, we have the name field. And this is the most important field um, because it's a descriptor of what our file is and is for. Uh, and there are a couple rules that we have for naming fields, uh, for naming our files, rather. Um, the first is, starts with a letter. Second is that it has only letters and numbers, and the underscore and the dollar sign. Those are all valid characters. Typically, you'll only be using the underscore as a special character, but we have the letter at the beginning, and then anything after that. The other thing we like to do, and this isn't necessary, but it's conventional, and by conventional, I mean proper. I mean, it's what most Java developers will do to make sure everyone's sort of doing the same thing. It's just like in math, we use the equal sign to say that two things are equal, 
If someone say, used a question mark to show that two things were equal, no one else would understand it. So we have conventions to make sure that everyone is on the same page. And the convention is for class names to do something called camel casing with a letter at the start that's capital. So I might name this first program. Notice every word has a capital letter at the start. And the first letter is always capitalized of the name. I could also name it camel case example. Same deal, every word has a capital letter at the start. Uh, but I will name this um, example program. It doesn't matter what I name it, uh, but the name needs to be in the program somewhere, and I'll show you where that is. So we name it example program. You could name it uh, dice game or calculator or whatever your current uh, project is, your current assignment. Um, lab 17 of, you know, uh, variable practice, something like that. And we're going to click finish. Everything else doesn't matter for now. I'm not going to have you click on anything in particular because we need to sort of see what the structure is supposed to look like. So I'm going to click finish. And you'll notice that it opens up an example program. This is exactly what it should look like. It should say public class example program. Example program is the name that we gave the file. You'll notice up here, they must match. This, this word right here that I've highlighted and the name of the file must match exactly, including uppercase and lowercase. If you don't, you'll get a compiler error. So, to start with, I'm going to go inside these braces, and you'll notice that I have a box surrounding a matching brace right here. That tells me that things are matched up. It lets me know that I've opened and closed my class, my program. Inside, I'm going to press tab, and I'm going to write out public static void main string brackets args. And then I'm going to make another block. And this block, again, tells me that inside is the stuff associated with this bit of code called main. The stuff over here we're going to get into detail about later on. The stuff in here we're going to talk about a little later on. But for the most part, right now, you just need to know that they must be there. And that, other than that, you won't know anything about them for some time. The capitalization matters. The spelling matters, but aside from that, you know, it's just something standard that we're going to have. Inside this main area is the stuff that we're going to be executing. Um, and this is where you're going to write your practice pro programs, you're going to do uh, any of the functional stuff that we're, we're working on, um, and if you have a worksheet, you can practice it, and here you can type out the stuff and see the output. Now I'm going to write a simple program. I'll do a simple system print statement, and inside I'll have the words um, welcome to Eclipse. And we'll capitalize that just because it's a proper name, a uh, proper noun. So in this case, we have a print statement, and we will be able to run our program. Now to run our program, there's a little green circle up here that says run. And I will click on that button. And my program will run. And any output that I have, anything I want to print to the screen, will come out down here. For now, I'm going to comment this out. That means the computer won't be able to read it. And I will type out something else. Now. Think for a second about whether this will print anything out. This is a variable declaration and assignment. I've created an integer called, called x. 
and I've given it the value 5. So if I run this program and notice this line is commented out, I'm actually just going to delete it for a moment. If this was just what I had in my program, think about if anything would run. Now I'm going to run it, and the program runs. I didn't get any errors. There was a little blink down here with a red square that indicates whether that the program is running and I can stop it. But nothing came to my output because I didn't tell the computer to print anything out. Another thing that I can do to make sure that the value that I made is printed out is I have my print statement. And inside, I'm just going to say that I'm going to print x, or the value of x. So I can run it, and it will print out 5. This ends my basic tutorial for how to set up Eclipse and run a basic program. If you want to make another program, simply go to File, New, Class, and create another one. It will appear in the same folder. Uh, as long as your f class files are in a project in the source folder, they will run when you click the green button. We'll talk more about Eclipse and importing files uh, and things of that nature in the next video. Thank you.